hello hello everyone my name is Laura this is my channel Laura's Little Library and welcome to today's video which is my March TBR so this past month I realized that I always set my bullet journals with a TBR page of six books for my TBR for the month and I realized that I really like that because I want to read more than six books a month but because I am such a mood reader I don't want all of them to be planned out so I like the idea of planning a few these are the ones I want to read for whatever reason but still having room to kind of just pick up whatever I choose to make sure I don't fall into a slump and to kind of just go back and forth on mood reading but also scheduled reading and just kind of advance along my reading life in that way that being said, this TBR is crazy. It's interesting because I have so many things that I want to read, as usual, and my February TBR was pretty big, and I probably didn't even read all the books on that TBR, but I did read a lot of books in February, so I'm hoping that the good reading continues into March, but I hopefully this time I can stick to my TBR a little bit. So there are different kind of sections to this month's TBR, and if I have a good enough reading month, hopefully I won't have to do this again in future months. So when I was compiling my TBR together, I looked at what books I had on my TBR last month that I didn't get to, what books I have from the library, as well as what books do I have on audio from the library, what books I want to read specifically as it becomes springtime or at least before summer comes, and then what books uh, do I want to read for certain readathons? So I looked at a lot of different aspects and a lot of them just have many books on them. So we're just going to fly through them in that way. So the first couple books that I want to read this month are going to be really easy for me to fly through because they are volumes 4, 5, and 6 of Spy X Family. So I finally got the rest of my shipment for this manga. So I now own... I believe there are only six volumes out in English, so I believe I have all six of them now. Uh, I read the first three, I very much enjoyed them. So I can really just sit down and read four, five, and six in a day, no problem. Uh, so I really want to just kind of quick get those done, especially because this summer there is going to be an anime of Spy X Family, and I want to be as caught up as possible for that anime. So I can just set like a day aside to quick read these to get me started. And then I also want to read How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao. I own this one. I started it last year. I really want to read it. I'm about a third of the way through. It's currently holding up my uh, ring light at the moment, so I'm not holding it there, but uh, it's one I've already started and one that's been on my TBR for quite a while, and I just want to get it done. Also, I have Caravelle by Stephanie Garber. I have been waiting to start this series. I don't know what I was waiting for. I know I really want to start it. Again, I own it. It's also holding up the ring light right now. So that one's been on my TBR for a while as well. Similarly, School for Good and Evil Book 2 by Sonan Chainani. The adaptation is coming this summer, so I really want to get moving through the series. I own the first and second one, and I believe there are like six books in this series. I don't know if it's like a trilogy and then a second trilogy, like kind of like a shadow me thing. I'm not quite sure, but this has been on my TBR for a while, so I really want to pick this up. It's a little thick, but it's it's a little bit of a middle grade, like it's a, it's a younger writing voice, so hopefully I'll be able to fly through it pretty quickly, especially because I love the first one as well. So hopefully this month I can finally get to this book. And then the last one that's been on my TBR for a while that I really want to finish is Curse of the Specter Queen by Jenny Elder Moke. This one I also started, I'm not very far into it. My, my thing with this one is that I really want to read it, but I really don't want it to be done. I have been so excited for the story ever since I saw it and picked it up in a bookstore. It's like a female Indiana Jones, but in Ireland. So it kind of has some Celtic mythology, and I really want more of that in books, and because I haven't seen too much of it, I, I want to savor this one as much as possible, but there's a difference between savoring it and starting it and not finishing it out of fear it'll be done. So I need to actually make progress in reading this. 
The physical book that I have from the library right now is Ruin and Rising. I just started this one. I need to get this finished this month because it is due at the end of March. Plus, I want to finish the trilogy before uh, I watch season two of Shadow and Bone, and it would be ideal if I could finish the trilogy and start Six of Crows so that I can get caught up. Even though I have seen season one of Shadow and Bone, I am a little spoiled for Six of Crows, but I will deal with it. It is the choice I have made. So I need to finish this. And then I have a bunch of audiobooks from the library that I need to read. The one that I am currently listening to is Isn't It Romantic by Lisa K. Adams. I love this. It's the fourth one in the Bromance Book Club series. I'm hoping I'll have this done in the next day or two because I've been flying through those. I've been loving them so much. So that is a currently reading on my TBR. But then I also have The Shadows Between Us. I think this is by Trisha Lovenseller. I could be wrong. I picked this up on a whim because it was a fantasy standalone and I really want to get back into reading more fantasy and I, I don't know if it's a fantasy romance. If it is, I'm excited. If not, then oh well, it's a fantasy standalone. I'll be fine. I want to read it, so here it is. Oh, Blood and Honey. I got the audiobook, but I also do own uh, Serpent to Dove and Blood and Honey. This will be a reread, which I know. I never reread books, but I really want to reread this one before I read uh, Gods and Monsters because I want a refresher, but also I know I didn't like this book as much, but I also think I didn't quite pay as much attention to the audiobook the first time. So if I reread it with the audiobook and the physical book, I'm hoping I will enjoy it a little bit more and be refreshed so I can be ready to pick up the third and final book in the trilogy hopefully next month. The final audiobook that I have is Forest of Souls. I remember like one or two people talked about this book when it came out like maybe two years ago and I got all excited. I put it on my Goodreads TBR. I was like, oh, I can't wait. I'm going to buy this book. Then I'm going to read it because it sounds like a fantasy I'm really going to enjoy. But because I'm not buying near as many books as I thought I would be, which is prof which is a very good thing, I've decided that I'm going to bend in and just listen to the audiobook, and then if I love it, then I will buy it. So it's one I've been wanting to read. Again, it's another fantasy that I've been really excited for and just not letting myself read, but now I'm going to let myself listen to it, and hopefully I will enjoy it a lot. Finally, there is a readathon happening this month, the Forever Romance readathon. This is hosted by Shelby and Allie from Dreamer with Books on Instagram. And I haven't quite worked out all the books that I want to read for all of their prompts yet. I know the first prompt, I definitely want to read Sway With Me, which is by Saeed and Masood. And this was a book that I didn't put on my February TBR, but I added on to it later in February because I was reading so many contemporary romances that I thought, ooh, I really want to add this one to the pile. I didn't quite get to it, um, so I'm going to add it on to my March one and I thought it was perfect that they were doing that readathon because then I can continue reading romance and I can get to this book for the readathon. I also debated on, well, I'm also hoping to pick up People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry for their favorite romance author. Uh, question. I loved Beach Read by Emily Henry. I'm so excited for Book Lovers coming out this year, um, so I thought I should pick this up. I debated on saving it for summertime because it feels very summer vacation, but I'm really yearning for warm weather right now, so this might be a book that I pick up before summer this spring just to kind of get me ready, get me in the mood, get me even more excited for summer, especially since theoretically here in Minnesota it's not supposed to drop below zero again. I don't know if I believe that, but just with the warm days we've been having, it almost feels like I go, could go outside in a t-shirt because it's so much warmer than it has been. So I might pick this up a little early. Now there are about five more prompts for this readathon, of which I have not found books that I want to read to fit those prompts. So I am going to go through my Goodreads TBR and then see what books I can request from the library and through as an audiobook through the library that fit these prompts. It's probably going to be a little bit more of a relaxed thing for me, just kind of if I find a book, I'm interested in reading it, it fits a prompt, I'll get it and I'll read it, but I'm not necessarily trying to sit there and read every prompt. I'm going to be a little more relaxed with this readathon. Um, as you can tell that I only have two books prepared for the readathon and it started yesterday. So 
that's kind of my plan for the readathon. I'm going to try and finish it, but I'm not putting too much pressure on myself because if I put pressure on myself, myself, I'll read books that I'm not interested in, and then because I'm a mood reader, I will go into a slump, and I don't want that. So, yes. <laughs> Those are all the books on my TBR. It's a lot of books. <laughs> I think I could do it, especially since I'll have a couple days off for spring break, I think, hopefully. So, we shall see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe. I post every Sunday and Wednesday. Comment down below some of the books you have on your March TBR, maybe some spring reads that you're looking forward to or you would recommend for me to pick up this coming spring. Otherwise, I have a bunch of bookish social medias. Those are linked down below so you can go and follow me there and I will follow you back and we can chat and recommend books to each other even more. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.